friends. Welcome back to East Texas Kitchen. I'm Mama Steph here with my friend Casey Buck from Hi. Oakley Mansion <laughs> Bed and Breakfast in Winsboro. Hey there, Casey. Hi. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. We love having you here. And these muffins look like a weekend breakfast ready to happen. Yes. What kind are you making today? So they are a lemon blueberry muffin with a streusel oh. on top. Oh, okay. That sounds amazing. <laughs> and I have company coming this weekend, so a big family birthday is happening at my house. Awesome. So I'm glad you're teaching me how to make this recipe. So what do we do first? So first we're going to make our streusel. So okay. actually, if you want to go ahead and pour what we have on this plate, we have mm -hmm. our flour, our sugar, and some cinnamon. Oh, pour that the into perfect our combo. Okay. Plain flour? Just plain? It is. It's just plain flour. Not, not self-rising, just plain. What beautiful plates yeah. you have. Thank you. They're some of my favorites. Beautiful. And then okay. we'll go ahead and add butter to it. Okay. That looks like just, what, a teaspoon or so? Yes. It's just a little bit. And that butter actually, as it mixes in, so I'm going to mm -hmm. let you keep mixing that as I move on, because it's going to yes. start making little balls. Little and that's crumbly, those little crumbly yeah. balls that we want. Perfect. So okay, I'll keep doing this. While you're this. doing that, I also have our flour ready. This is going to be for our muffin. <clears throat> okay. Have our flour. Going to add our baking soda and baking powder to it. Oh, nice. It'll be a nice fluffy texture. So it'll be, oh yeah, and it's fluffy, fluffy at the end. And I'll go ahead and mix that up just so it's all in there and ready okay. to go. Shouldn't take much mix in there. No. And then on our next side, I'm actually going to make the uh, rest of our blueberries. So we have our sugar okay. in here. I'm going to add our egg. It's just two eggs to our mm -hmm. mixture. Nice. We've got some buttermilk. That's going <laughs> to give it that really soft texture. Oh, yes, for sure. And then I've got lemon zest over here. Oh, that always adds in a little extra zingy lemon flavor. Yes, and it makes it so phenomenal. good. Some vanilla. Mm-hmm. And then a little more lemon flavoring, so lemon juice. And you don't have to use both. I like both because yeah. it's just enough tang. It really does. It's better when you have both and it's fresh squeezed, yes. and not the bottle. It's yes. the can. And then our butter. Perfect. So this part, I'm going to go ahead and mix up really good mm -hmm. before I get moving too far. Yeah. I think we have about a minute and 15 seconds. So <laughs> the magic of TV. We I'll have to say, go fast. We gotta go right. fast. <laughs> so then we're going to add slowly but surely our flour into it okay. as we go. Yeah. And mix it all up. I'll and just with do a part of it. batter, it can be a little lumpy. It doesn't have to be smooth yeah. like a cake batter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, which I love because you can do it by hand really easily. I love a muffin batter for that reason. Yes. And I want to go ahead and tell you all about my trick just in case we don't make it all the way through this part. Right. So with our blueberries. I did actually stick them in a bag mm -hmm. and with some flour mm -hmm. and mix them all up in yep. there. That actually keeps them from going to the bottom. Right. So they'll keep your blueberry muffins Suspended. actually blueberry muffins. Yeah. Suspends them in the batter instead yes. of letting them sink to the bottom. That is a great tip to use. And um, so I, I love that tip. And so what you'll do then, yep. because we're almost out of time. Yeah. We'll just pop our blueberries mm -hmm. in. Once they're folded inside, mm -hmm. I actually take our little ice cream scoop, yes. scoop it up, and then just plop a little bit in each one. I did about two thirds pour. And then put a little bit of this section. yummy streusel. Yep, just goes on top. And then bake it at 350. Uh, it's at 400. 400. 400 for 18 to 20 minutes. Perfect. And they just look so good and so tender. So, of course, Casey shared the recipe with us, and it's on the East Texas Kitchen app right now. So go check it out and make them really soon. I think they're <laughs> amazing. Can't wait to try them. Thanks, yes, Casey. Thank you. Back to you.